Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, kick your feet up, subscribe to this family-friendly movie and television show recap channel, and also follow me on Instagram at the same profile name so you can get a sneak peek of what's coming up next. In this video, we'll discuss the amazing verses between Patti LaBelle and Gladys Knight. It's all coming up next. been a few days since my last post and I hope that you all have been doing okay I hope that you guys are doing well in the midst of all of the stuff that's happening in 2020 well on Sunday September 13th we had an amazing episode with verses and that episode was Patti LaBelle and Gladys Knight's two living, amazing legends now for those of you who are unfamiliar verses you know in your mind you could think it's a battle but it's really not it's an opportunity for artists who clearly are at some sort of same level to play their songs back and forth maybe have some discussions in between and so the audience can embrace wow these are two artists that are going head to head it, it, in, in a kind of combat kind of way but it's all love just showing credit and love to the artist who have stepped forward and who have been able to share their music with everyone else. Brandy versus Monica, DMX versus Snoop Dogg, Erica Badu and Jill Scott. There have been several episodes and now this past weekend we've had Patti LaBelle and Gladys Knight. Over 40 years plus of a career, you guys. And for those of you that missed it, I know I was on the verge of missing it. And I'm like, whoa, that's tonight, it's, it's Sunday. So I had to hurry up and, and I wanted to get nice and comfortable because I grew up hearing both of their amazing catalogs. And I just wanted to witness literary, literally herstory. <laughs> literally just, you have to think about all of the artists that they've seen come and go within their career. And just, just think about the Erica Badu and Jill Scott verses. Think about their careers and then add on another plus 20, 25 plus years to their career. That's a very long time. When it came on, everybody was super amped and excited, ready to hear what they had to say. There in the past, there were little hiccups and little little scuffles between Gladys and Patty. But what I loved is that they said before they started anything, they they sat there and they talked, and kind of forgetting that they were live, they had to be reminded, oh, we're live now. And they're like, oh, oh, we're live. Okay, before we even got to the music, but it was like listening in to a phone conversation between two loved ones, and they wanted to make it known that. Despite anything in the music industry, what people heard, what people thought, they were friends. Think about being in such a cruel, cold industry such as entertainment. And they did bring up how the industry wanted them to just have scuffles and they wanted them to disagree so badly. But they said that a lot of things that were happening in their lives, they both were experiencing as young black women, as mothers, developing their careers. Just think about it. they've had consistency, movie soundtracks, television. Uh, and I'll get to that in a minute. But before they started, they said, you remember that time when I was married around the same time you were married and I had a baby the same time you had a baby and while I was recording this I had my baby and you held my child for me they want to make it known they had a sincere friendship that they were friends and that they loved each other think of all of the legends that they've worked with you guys and I was just sitting there in awe like am I seeing this for real they even talked about that out of their long careers, this was the longest stint of time that they hadn't worked. Think about that. Because of the COVID pandemic, this was the first time that either one of them had been seated and not being able literally to work, go on tour, sing, feature anything for a long period of time. And I thought those are some, 
hustling women. They have been non, just non-stop. Think about when you saw Patty, Patty LaBelle on Sesame Street as a child, and they just the hits and and Gladys when she when she pulled out a lot of the the, the songs from the Claudine uh, uh, soundtrack. It just blew me away. And the rules say that they play each track about, about 90 seconds of each song. And they didn't even touch on, it was a salt grain of some of the songs that they played within that two hour, I think three hour time frame. And they hadn't even touched majority of their catalog. They really just played what majority of us remember and know dear to our hearts, what we've just saying over and over again at home, family reunions, graduations, anything with family and back black culture. Patty, when they played songs, I thought about when Patti LaBelle was on A Different World as the reoccurring mother to Dwayne Wayne and she wanted to know about her chipmunk, honey, and she wanted to know about Whitley and what she wanted with her son um, and Gladys and, and how even though she wasn't written into the script, Gladys had a hit that was so powerful that a different world wanted her to feature on an episode. And we remember Jaleesa and Whitley and the love oh, love overboard. And they were singing and they were dreaming like, man, if we would've won that contest, I imagine us dancing with Gladys. It's just beautiful. Their careers are just one to study. And one thing that I wanted to emphasize is that I hope that artists, just to study those two women, if you're an actor, if you're a singer, uh, one of the things that is important is that you study and you look at, at interviews and you listen to those. If you don't have the, 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 the grace of being in their presence to look at interviews they've had in the past where they talk about how it's business they can express who they are with their personality, but you have to think, what kind of drama have they been in? They've had their little cat little stuff here and there, Patty and Aretha and their little stuff here and there, and Patty will throw some shade. And, but you have to think about none of that stopped their legendary just being artists. And I would think if I were a singer, I would sit down and I would listen to everything that they had to say. The energy of the verses was absolutely phenomenal. And what was beautiful to me, what a lot of up and coming singers, um, I think it's very important that they look at that because they still had their voices. Yes, they maybe might have not been able to hit that five octave note, but the fact that Gladys was just from the diaphragm almost I think one was 75 and one was 76 and Patty made it know you're, you're older than me you're one year older than me it's just a year but you are older than me honey it was just beautiful that they still had their crisp clean verses let's see a lot of your faves today being able to hit those notes 40 years later they show that if you take care of your body and you take your career ser seriously that you can have that longevity with millennials and us and, and, and all of the generations behind us, they're not thinking about, everything's just fast, fast, fast. They come from a generation where they develop their artists, where all of the equipment could just shut down and all they have was a mic and their, their instrument is their voice. Nowadays, that's a dominant, I mean, that's, that's rare. That's a dominant and a rough to be able to, to be able to not have all of the things that a lot of entertainers need today and they never need it. So I really think that a lot of people, if you missed it, should just go back and watch the entire Versus episode because they dropped so many gems about their songs, about how it was about love, how it was about things that, that, that people needed to listen to to get along that are still relevant until this day. They both had their own personalities and also to see Dionne Warwick come on and joke and say, hey, well, I'm almost 80. You know, this, 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 at the end of this month, I'll be 80 years old. That's amazing. To be able to just come and just sing and talk and give a little joke. Think about all of the people that they've worked with. It's just, 
I could talk about this all day. And I really can't wait till I can get on the platform to where I can have uh, a show where I have other counterparts to where we can talk about this and really talk about our opinions about it because I just really feel that there needs to be that back and forth dynamic with a topic such as versus. When it when it comes to shows and movie television, you can just be forthright, but when it comes to things like this, you really need some sort of uh, conversation. Let me know what you thought about that versus. I thought it was amazing. I thought it, both women were absolutely beautiful. Patty was absolutely amazing being able to kick those shoes off and joke that man one of those shoes hit my knee I hurt my knee and they joked about that and laughed about that and Gladys talked about how you know girl last time I saw you I girl I lost some weight and it was just beautiful and and their longevity is just unmatched you guys unmatched and I loved every moment I had my teary eyed moments where I thought about songs that my grandma listened to, that my mom listened to, and they talked about where they were in their lives at that particular time, who wrote it. I thought it was kind of messed up how in the comments people were trying to make jokes and have their moment instead of listening to what they were saying. And people were getting all, you know, jokey about who wrote that song, Patty? Patty about to say who wrote that song? Uh, yeah, um, because that's historical who, who wrote those songs and they deserve their shine. A lot of writers don't get their shine. A lot of writers don't get that moment, a lot of producers. So I thought it was just really important because you guys, time is so precious. And just think about if Prince and Michael Jackson were just sitting there talking. I, I kept typing on that, on that verses, take your time, Queens. Tell us your story. If you don't get to all the music, so what? Like, we'll go listen to it. Their stories and everything that they've been through, and they even mentioned that the entertainment industry tried to pit us together, but we're friends. Despite what happens in, with, with everything, we are, they were literally friends. They talk about sharing recipes and how they know each other's children and how they behave, and it was just beautiful. And I even rewatched it today just to enjoy the music and how they were dancing. And you see the memes everywhere about Patty and how she, I mean, she almost 80 y'all, that's her dance. You know, when you get to a certain age, you're gonna stay in the chair and you're gonna just do a little shoulder bop. You're not gonna do too much. I don't know if y'all thought she was gonna get up and do, do something else, <laughs> but I loved it. Please let me know what you thought about the versus episode i cannot wait missy was in the comments saying who's who's gonna ver do versus with me i'm like missy you gonna go you gonna battle against yourself because i don't know who else is gonna i don't i don't know who's gonna versus with you and then i did put a little petty comment i said it mariah was like who's gonna do versus with me and i was like you and j-lo <laughs> but she don't know her so i don't know maybe they gotta meet before the show <laughs> But let me know what you think, y'all. I thought it was the bomb.com. Their personalities were absolutely amazing. I loved how they joked back and forth. I loved how they shared their moments. We won't get that back. That Erica Badu and Jill Scott, we won't get that back. Um, that's a moment in time, you guys. And shouts out to Swiss Beats and Timbaland for having this amazing idea and coordinating everything and providing merchandise. I still have yet to receive certain shirts yet, and I'm guessing it's a back order like crazy, but I cannot wait for my DMX and Snoop one, my Erica Badu one, my Patti LaBelle. I'm, I'm waiting on all my, my shirts and everything. I cannot wait to receive that because that was a moment in history. Let me know what you think, you guys. Leave your comments below. And I hope you have a wonderful week and love each other. And guess what? Loving somebody is completely free. It doesn't take a lot. A smile is free. A head nod. How are you doing? Positivity. Just spread it. Absorb it and give it. Absorb it and give it, you guys. All right. Until next time, I'll see you. Bye. <laughs>